or disc golf videos if you haven't already. We're at the 2017 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships in Johnson City, Tennessee. We're actually at Harmon Hills. We're gonna be starting out on hole number one. It's a 368 foot par three. Get off this fairway. And here we have, uh, no surprise to anybody, Paige Pierce from Dynamic Discs. She's gonna be going with uh, normal Absolute Crush from Paige Pierce. As you can see, she has done that. She actually ended up on the right side a little bit, but she does have a putt. Now Paige from a similar area looking for a birdie too also. Hmm. Not quite. Looks like these ladies are going to be walking away with threes if Paige can make this. No problems there. This is a great car to walk around. We were so lucky to be able to get a chance to film a lead car during the USWDGC. Moving on to hole number two, it's a 442 foot par four off a big chunk of this fairway. Looking for Paige to go with a similar type of shot. Got some nice turn on that. Oh and gosh. that is and Paige looking at a jump putt on this 442 foot hole. Hmm. She turned it over a little bit. Mm. Mm. Very uncharacteristic to see Paige miss a putt from that area. She's going to be walking away with a four as well as Katrina at seven down now. Katrina's still at ten. Moving on, she's going to be looking at a, a shorter approach shot. Uh, maybe even a jump putt from that distance. That's a very good drive. Let's see what Paige can do here. Put a lot of power on that one. Looks like maybe a little bit too much. She hit a tree on the right that kind of kicked her deck it. Paige really taking her time and finding out the exact line she wants her disc to go on. You know she always makes it work. She's done oh, just yeah. that. <laughs> Unfortunately got some, but thankfully that one didn't stand up and roll down. As you've already seen, that definitely happens quite a bit on this hole. Page at the bottom of the hill also. Almost puts it in. And then Paige is going to come clean up with a tap in as well. And a bogey on that hole. Moving on to hole number four. It's 400 would be Jessica. <laughs> Paige really quick to tee off there. Put a lot of power on that. And that is an absolute crap that right there. <laughs> and it would have to be a throw in from far away. These ladies are... Page with a birdie as well. But I can promise you that's <laughs> that's a great birdie right there. Moving on to one of the shortest key with it because there's a lot of trees in that fairway. Uh, looks like she's just throwing it straight down the gut and then looking for a jump putt from there. Page is going to opt for the forehand. And stand still. Mm -hmm. Very common play for forehand. Unfortunately, hits a tree early. If I'm not mistaken, Amanda will correct me, but I think we missed a shot here yeah. from Lisa. Yeah, I think it was this one. Paige going with a turnover backhand, just trying to get her away down the fairway. And she's done just that. Great stance. Actually, I'm sorry, that was not a par save. That was a birdie putt right there. This is Paige's par save right here. Very good putt. One bogey, unfortunately, on that hole. It's not very common to see a uh, pad, which is going back uphill. 
this is definitely takes a crush but they're not going to try and bite off too much because you can go long into the woods Paid. looks like Jessica kind of got up got caught up uh, in the middle of that fairway there great shot from Paige yeah. she made it to the top of Very good shot from Paige. Looks like she might have put a little bit too much on that and went way back over into hole six. So, <laughs> very good uh, shot from where the position she was at. This is Paige over here on the right side. As you can see, she did actually end up, unfortunately, so she didn't get any roll. Yeah, it's like a risky put with the basket because the basket looks like it's kind of leaning on that hill. Mm -hmm, definitely. Yeah, if you put with hyzer and uh, towards that basket and one six on that hole, definitely good to walk away with a five on that hole. I'd say it did unfortunately fade out a little earlier than she wanted. Didn't quite turn as much as she had wanted. Paige put a lot on that one. Looks like a little bit too much. She ended up in Paige over there could not see anywhere where the basket is and she finally does see it. She got a little bit of laughter out of that. They were asking if she could see the basket and she was laughing it off because she couldn't see anything. She laid it up good but unfortunately got some roll. There she is. <laughs> yeah. Another shot from Paige. This is going to be for a four right here. Very good putt. I know that's got to hurt to be ending up in those thick woods over there but she is the top moving on to hole number eight it's a par four it's only three shot unfortunately gets kicked down early as well we've got Paige here going to the backhand and it looks like she is executed perfectly oh my goodness she up and down from there you can see Paige here with the longest drive. Uh, she actually may have went a little bit too long past the basket and coming back. Absolutely. Also tapping in. And Paige is going to walk in and tap in a birdie three. Absolutely. Yeah. Perkins, who is doing caddy work for Paige Pierce. A lot of, a lot of big names walking around with us on this huge card here. Star studded. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. We saw almost everybody. It's uh -huh. crazy. Hole number nine, uh, last hole on this first, the front nine video, uh, 479 feet. This takes a crush to get to the top of that hill. Looks like Paige has put quite a bit of distance on that. And a great shot right there. And Paige just as the, you always hear doing page things and just huge crush of a drive perfect upshot and no surprise to see page tapping in for a three as well yep. now on hole number 10 it's a 601 foot par four as you can see we've got dynamic disc sponsored page pierce on the tee here uh, what these ladies want to do is to get to the top of that hill over there. Uh, pretty much a placement shot to there. Get as much as you can off this fairway. Uh, and then down that hill and up another hill where the basket's placed. Paige going with a huge Anheuser shot. High up in the sky. That is an absolute crush. She has made it to the top of that hill. And that is outstanding right there. I remember everyone. She is sitting on the putting green. No easy task to get up there uh, on the putting green in two shots. These ladies are playing this hole exactly how you want to play it. You can see Will Schuster there in the background as uh, Paige threw. Wow. She made it through a time. To be past the basket on your second shot is outstanding on this hole. Paige looking for a birdie three. No problems for her.
Moving on to hole number 11, one of the shorter holes on the course. It's 307 feet. Uh, basically, this is a good hole for a lefty. So a flick would be a common play here or maybe a turnover backhand. Looks like Paige is going to be opting for the turnover. Goes downhill and to the right. She didn't quite get a scud there. She's down there in the putting green. Paige probably just going to lay this one up. Maybe gave it a little bit of a half go, but uh, you basket on a hill, a slope like that, uh, going for that putt just shows a tremendous amount of confidence. Katrina now stretched to 14 down. Moving on to hole number 12, it's a full shot when you make it down into there. So these ladies are probably going to try and end up on the left side here and then look at a hyzer shot towards the basket. So very interesting fairway. I absolutely love this. And that is, the trees are really eating the discs <laughs> up in this yeah. fairway. Paige had an absolute crush off the tee. She's just got soft little putter up shot here, as you can see. Looks to be absolutely perfect. Not quite, but there are still some opportunities to get some more strokes. Page with an absolutely great birdie. Walking away with a three on this hole. Pierce sitting at 10 down and Katrina at 14 down. So Paige is definitely making some stroking distance on Katrina during this back nine. Hole number 13 is 320 foot par four. One of the smaller fairways on the course. Unfortunately, Paige gets caught up early. For these ladies. Absolutely. For everybody. This is the Round two and three were in the same day, so. Yeah, and they were both at Harmon Hills, which is, if you've never played this course, if you're not in the area, um, it may not look like it on video, but this course is a beast. It really is. Like everybody was just kind of over it by, <laughs> by this point. <laughs> uh, just right up there near the basket. Forehand roller from a knee. Not a shot you see very <laughs> often. Uh, she made it work. Executed perfectly there. She's going to have a putt. Oh, wow. More excellent camera work from Ben Howard of Howard Disc Golf. Make sure you subscribe to his channel. Once again, huge thank you to, huge thank you, to you, Ben, for was actually showing how this hole is normally played. So. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty rough. And to play the two rounds. <laughs> Moving on to hole number 14. Three. Very unfortunate to hit those limbs right there. She had a great drive, but just barely got caught by the left side limbs. Paige with a great shot. Uh, she's looking for a little bit more deals. Is, uh, the design of this course is absolutely amazing. One of the best, probably the best course in East Tennessee, if not all of Tennessee. Um, and the basket placements, uh, a lot of them are on hills. And like I said on the last hole, you have to be on with your putt when you're playing to convert. But thankfully, she sat down beside the basket. Now, and Paige is at nine down. Moving on to hole number 15 hit on the left side she's sitting at the bottom of the hill uh, there is quite a bit of a hill uh, there so she's got a lot of work to do from there you want to do what you want to do what Paige has done here make it out that fairway and she has started to make her way back up the hill tree kick Good shot from executed almost perfectly, just a little bit more height on that, and she probably would have been laying right beside the pin. Paige looks like she's going to do a jump putt here. Yep. And just laying it up beside the button. Anheuser putt from Jessica. Paige was able to convert with her four. Course at 211 feet, but it is no walk in the park. It's oh laying God. right beside the basket. Outstanding drive from Lisa. That was amazing. Paige.
page going to the backhand as well. And another outstanding <laughs> drive. And Paige doing the same. Outstanding birdies from those ladies. Moving on to hole number 17, 573 foot par four. Uh, another one of the hardest holes on the course, probably the longest, tightest fairway on the course, except for maybe uh, on the back nine, which was not featured during this tournament. Uh, it takes a lot of power to get down that fairway and a lot of precision. As you can see, Paige is showing off both of those and her abilities. Almost takes out the cameraman. <laughs> Paige sitting at the top of the hill looking to toss it down towards the basket oh and almost puts it in the basket for to the basket. Hopefully Paige can convert so we can see a birdie three on this hole. And she absolutely does. That is an outstanding burn down between Kat and Paige. Paige has worked her way up towards the top. We're on hole 18, the final hole of round three. Ooh. Paige has absolutely crushed this one. That's an outstanding drive, and she could definitely hit those limbs. Paige just with a soft shot. Uh, Anheuser and lays it right near the basket. I was right, is sitting right beside the basket. She taps in for a birdie. Just so dynamic on another latitude that can't stand it. Yeah, I'm a rocket boy, I stay blasting off, and I was never planning on landing. Been working on my legacy, yeah, since I've been a prodigy. It's probably the dog in me. I mean, honestly, ain't no one stopping me. No apologies, I'm so astonishing. I say, Innova, yeah, I've been the one. We talking trophies, dog, give me them. Championships, I'ma give me some, and I'ma keep on. 